Good morning, world. Actually, good afternoon. I believe it looks like 2.38 p.m. Monday, 9.13. This is Robert Latsky Evangelistic Association. Episode 5. Thought I'd make a video today. I asked God to come into my mind and fill my heart and my mind with something to say good today to the world and to you all you good people and Jesus come into my life and my head and help me speak today also Guess we could start off by how wonderful it is to be alive on this magnificent planet Earth we all call home. <clears throat> Got a little frog in my throat today, but I felt like making a video today, so I'll do the best I can. God wants me to tell you all how to pray in Jesus. I've had that in my head the last couple of days. I show you how I pray. I uh, I ask Jesus to come into my life and help me and guide me and talk to me and give me strength and wisdom and courage and be my friend and my savior and to help me to help my health and my finances and my whole world and my whole existence I owe it all to Jesus for he died on the cross for you and me shed his blood at 33 years old and died a horrifying death for you and me because he loves us we owe him a great deal of gratitude and gratefulness he'll come into your life like he says knock and I will come in open the door Ask him to come into your life. He's not going to come into your life if you don't ask him. He gave you a free will and a free choice. If you ask him to come into your life, he will come into your life. And he will help you. And ask him to change you. And give you a new heart. And a new set of lungs and a new set of kidneys and livers and mind and body and soul. Everything. Change it all. For the glory of Jesus and God, the Father Almighty. And thank Him every day for being alive. I thank you, God, every day for me being alive and giving me life on this planet. It is a gift, a true gift to be alive. I even ask God to come into my life protect me and watch over me and guide me and be gracious and unto me and have mercy upon my soul and me for I love them Jesus is our brother and God is our father in heaven and he give us a comforter called the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit I call him the Holy Ghost myself he will help you and guide you and be there with you all the time. Thank Him also for being in your life and ask Him to come into your life. Have them all be a part of your life. I mean, you don't 
have to go out into the world and be something fanatical, radical, or whatever. Just, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's you and Jesus and God and the Holy Ghost. One-on-one. -on -one, a commitment that you make with them. And they will never let you down. They promise to never let you down. There well, comes a the car. One of, one of the neighbors. There's my work pile, lawn mowers. Big old cornfield out there. It's almost deer season, October 1st. Oh, don't get me sidetracked. But anyway, arm's getting a little tired. I'll try the other hand. Yeah, ask them to come into your life. You won't regret it. Every morning, say your prayers. Every night, say your prayers. They're listening. They love you. They give you a free will and a free choice. You can either mock God and sh shake your fist at Him and cuss and swear at Him, and or you can be friends and thankful and act like a son to, to your own Father in Heaven as you would your own Father on Earth. It's well worth it. Because they always say, once appointed a man to live, he's also appointed to die. So we're all going to die. Even myself, I'm going to die. I don't want to, but I'll end up having to do one of these days. And I, want, I ask even God to let me live a long life on this planet. Keep me away from drugs, alcohol, marijuana evilness, wicked people, hateful people, greedy people, all of them bring peace and joy into my life, contentment, and relaxation, and quiet, solitude, harmony, grace, equilibrium, and perfect balance with the harmony in nature. Well, guess that's what I wanted to get off my shoulder today. You won't regret it. Because whether we like it or not, we live, we are born, and then we die, and then comes Judgment Day. And I don't want to be in the wrong standings when I go to die, when I have to die. For you know, Jesus said many times, you will be cast into the lake of fire. And God always said many times, depart from me, I never knew you. Whew. Wow, I don't want that in my life, and I hope that none of you all do. Well, I hope my words today are the car. Neighbor James down on the end. He's a good old boy. He's out there, but he's all right. Yep. Thought I'd make this video today. Getting hot out here in the sun. Sure feels good though. Oh. Have to get me a tripod. dirt pile yep this is Robert Latsky Evangelistic Association episode 5 may God watch over you and protect you and if you're not in the right standings just ask him tonight if you don't like which way you're being or wondering or have any doubts don't be ashamed or afraid to ask Jesus and God to help you. They're waiting. They've been waiting a long time for you. They love you. And I love you too. And you all have a good day.
Hope you enjoy my videos. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Cowboy out.